Movie Tips! Hey guys, nice to see you guys again. Thanks for tuning into the channel. My name is Daniel Rosado. If you want to explain a little bit about this movement situation, make sure you guys understand a little bit. I want to get to a quick subject about packing your kitchen. It's easy as eating a snack. It's pretty easy. Just want to run through it with you guys. <laughs> So, step one, you do, usually when you move, you bring stuff that you don't really need. Just some materials you use maybe once a year, maybe not at all. These things you probably shouldn't keep around. It'll make moving way harder to figure out where to put these things. I would, if anything, give it up to a charity or give it up to your family members, but I would try to get less stuff to pack instead of moving more than what you need to do. Moving tips. Step number two, preparing your packing material. You have to have these things in handy. You always gotta have tape. You always gotta have at least some kind of newspaper or maybe any kind of paper that can be able to cover things. You gotta have, make sure you have the right size boxes. It's always a headache if you don't have these things. You also need to have scissors and other things to make everything much easier. Without these things, you'll make your life a living hell. You should not have any trouble getting some of these materials, maybe at the 99 cent store, Walmarts or any of sort, but these materials are very, very important to have to make sure that your products get to your house the same way they left. Tip three, list your essentials for your kitchen pack. There's some things that you obviously gotta have once you move right into your house that are essential. Obviously you're gonna need your coffee, you're gonna need your pots, few dishes to eat. These are first things that you should unpack and be get ready just to be, have a normal setting in your house again. Usually when you're from your stressful of having a bunch of boxes around you, you don't want to use that too much as your advantage. You want to have things that are almost normal when you're living in your old house. So these are the first few things you need to make sure you have on the side. Moving tips. The kitchen packing process. This I would say it's probably tip four for me, but there's several things you got to look into. For instance, pots and pans. These are things that are probably big or small. You can find a way to fit them in together, pack them all, consolidate the sizes, just so you can be able to fit it into one box. Same thing goes for glasses. Glasses is not something you just wanna go and throw into a box and hope it doesn't break. You gotta make sure you use something protective over the glass, newspapers, anything with a lot of cushion. Make sure you put them tightly kneaded into a box and also make sure you don't drop it. It's very fragile. Also for placing bowls, these are also two things you gotta diversify. Some bowls you have might be plastics, so it's not hard to just stack them all together and put them in a box, but then you have plates. Some are your good china, some are your just ones that you use that you don't care about, but also they're all glass. So it's also things you also wanna wrap around with a lot of cushion. Make sure they're separated and not tightly packed into a box. You never wanna mess around and actually get these mixed up, cause then again, you're not gonna have anything to eat with. For the next tip of wine, your liquor bottles and unopened bottles. Some wine bottles are very expensive. These are not things you wanna see at your new home broken. So these are things you gotta make sure you prepare in a small box that fits them all separated so they don't cling together and break. These are not the things you wanna see at your new home, especially when they're expensive bottles. Same thing with liquor and other ones that you would like to have once you get to your new home. Moving tip! For my next, drawers and shelves. Obviously drawers and shelves always have a lot of clutter with your clothes, depending on what things you have in it. These are the things you wanna go and try to sort out probably to the end or keep together when you can. Drawers have either socks, underwear, t-shirts, stuff of that sort. No point of moving them, leave them in the drawers and move them that way. Just to separate them from your cabinets and bring them with you. Same thing with shelves. Shelves should be probably one of your last few things to do because they're already organized. You just have to put them into different boxes and make sure they're nicely packed. For foods in your kitchen, this is probably one of the least worries of your move, but one of the most essential ones. You also want to make sure that the things that you move out of your new house or from your old house to your new house should be the things that don't get spoiled. Little things like start off with a small pantry where you have little spices and stuff like that. Things that are very small, they can just easily put into a box and not have to worry about it. Same thing when you go with 
your jars and all that stuff. You also got to make sure you pack those things very nice. And the things that you're going to use for the next few days in your new home, make sure those things don't go bad. For appliances, if you're going to take your refrigerator to your new home, you got to make sure you remove everything out of the refrigerator, including the shelves. People think, take that for granted, leaving shelves inside a refrigerator while you're moving. These things can easily break. Just separate them out and anything that could be anything that's exposed to damage from the move itself. And at the same time, make sure they defrost, thaw all out before you go to your new home. Make sure it's unplugged and obviously clean it. So the last thing you want to do is bring your old dirt to new dirt. Moving tips. First, you want to put something on the bottom of your box to protect all the stuff you're going to put your kitchen appliances. Make sure you stuff it into your cups or anything that concerns glass. Make sure they're tightly packed and not being able to move around. And make sure you cover it all. Make sure that nothing is exposed to be able to get broken. This is very simple and at the same time very important for you to do. Plates, glass, anything that can shatter and break during the move. And then on top, you want to add other things like opening a bottle, make things smaller, utensils wise, forks, knives, spoons. They could all fit into this one little cut water bottle. And also you can close it back up easily and tape it. And it's all in one spot. Make sure to put everything in order side by side and all can fit in one box. It'll make everything so much easier if you can do this. Close your box up and cut handles on the sides. Be careful as you do this. You can have the prevention of cutting yourself obviously, so be careful. Make little triangles under the lip, just enough to fit your hands in so you can be able to grip it. Make sure you do it on both sides evenly just so you can have a better stand of holding a box. As you lift it up, you can tell if it works or not. Make sure when you put the tape, put it from one side to the other side, but don't cover the hole. Put a little lip with a ball, basically that a ball of tape and put it across only from the top, not all the way from the bottom. Just enough where you can be able to lift it up again when you need to unpack it. Always when you lift, never use your back. This is very bad for you, obviously. Make sure you use your legs and stiff back and stand it right back up. Conclusion, moving is one of the toughest things you can go through, but it has to be done. Obviously, you don't want to get anything damaged out of your property. So get something like movers that are more professional and to knowing how to pack things and obviously not hurt your back and it won't hurt your wallet at all. If this helps you at all, I hope it does. Please hit a like on the video or if not, leave a comment. I'll respond to you. I'm always here for you. And as always, good luck with your move. Moving tip.